When I decided a few years ago to have my professional photos redone, it was my first time to work with a professional photographer. My husband had just taken the pictures before. That photographer really knew her stuff and we busted out all the stops. Hair, clothes, makeup, tiaras, you know, all the essentials. Before we got to shooting, she pulled out a bra that was two sizes bigger than I wore. And she said, put this one on and stuff it with a roll of paper towels. I was looking at her crazy. You, you, you want me to do what? For any of you who have met me in person, you know, I am not lacking in the bust department. It is a fact. So I couldn't figure out why we would want to draw more attention to that part of my body. The photographer said, yeah, stuff a roll of paper towels in that large bra. It'll make your chest look bigger, which will make your waist look smaller. Another fact is that I have no waist. I have what um, experts call an apple shape. So I nodded slowly and I went to find a roll of paper towels and change bras. With my loom, my new and larger chest, and with me trying to keep from laughing out loud constantly, I stood with my shoulders back as she began taking photos. And as we continue to shoot, I forgot about how ridiculous I felt with the paper towels shoved in my bra. And now when I look at those photos, I know there's a roll of paper towels under that t-shirt, but no one else ever does. At least not until I tell them this story anyway. They see me as though nothing weird or uncomfortable or itchy is going on. Sometime after this photo shoot, it occurred to me that the way I initially felt with that roll of paper towels in my shirt was the way I felt when I left my corporate job and started out on my own. It was such a new and uncomfortable experience to not be showing up to the office or relying on someone else to pay me, to be starting a business from scratch, to be working at home, to be proving to clients my value and explain my services. I mean, at that time, almost no one had heard of virtual assistants. And I was so far out of my comfort zone that I was convinced everyone could tell. I was nervous, doubtful, and not as assured about what I was doing as I presented. Except that was all in my head. No one knew just how many emotions or questions were running through me. They only saw someone determined to succeed and showing up with a smile on her face to do the work she promised she would do. And with every flash of success, my doubt, my nerves, my questions drifted a little further away until I couldn't feel them anymore. Until what I was showing on the outside was reflected inward. A lot of the time when we attempt something new or push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, we feel like everyone can see our vulnerability. Everyone can see us shaking in our boots with fear of failure. But most of the time, what we know and feel inside isn't at all what anyone can see. So we keep moving, we keep taking another step, smiling for another picture, gaining one more win, and eventually inside catches up with our outside. And if you're ever feeling like you've got a roll of paper towels in your shirt, just keep smiling because eventually you won't even notice them. Want to hear more crazy stories like this while learning how to build your own successful VA business? Sign up for my five day training, create a virtual career in the new economy. All you have to do is click the link below. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel, click like on this video and comment below. Let me know what uncomfortable thing have you done?